Apparently, the bell tower collapsed and they went from this old Romanesque style to the Gothic on the second part of the church. Aude, Grand Cru Classé, est une propriété de 7 hectares dont les vins vieillissent en barrique. Les vignobles Aubert, qui disposent d'une très belle salle pour séminaires, organisent tous les jours en juillet et en août une exposition de peinture avec visite des caves et dégustations. On the left side, Château La Couspode, Grand Cru Classé, and its vineyard of 7 hectares whose wines are aged in oak barrels. This property, which belongs to the Oval, includes a magnificent hall, and in July and August, it houses an art exhibition with exceptional qualities to a terroir, or soil, made of a combination of clay and limestone. Merlot, for the most part, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon, Sur votre droite, belle vue sur la cité avec son clocher bâti sur l'église souterraine la plus grande d'Europe. 11 mètres de haut, 20 mètres de large, 38 mètres de profondeur. À côté, la tour de roi, datant du Moyen-Âge, où chaque année... Vente des vendanges, pour the opening of the Great Harvest. Now belongs to the Ballet Parienti family. Premier grand cru classé de grands ouvertures sur le domaine de Rochebel, qui appartient depuis cinq générations à la famille Fagnès. Les vins de ce grand cru classé très prisé des connaisseurs sont exposés et vendus à la clientèle particulière dans cet espace vinéphile situé sur votre gauche. While you can see in front of you the charming Romanesque church of Saint Laurent des Camps, please turn your attention to the estate of Rochebel, which has been in the family of the Grand Cru Classé of three and a half hectares of old vines, essentially Merlot, in one of the most prestigious terroir of Saint Emilion.
Maybe we can lock Marsha up. We can lock Marsha up in this place. Ah, the other. Yes, I can. Not a picture, but I can take a uh, video. This side. Crowd in. Oh. Hey. Jeez. You, you guys are all now no, on Mont Saint Mount, Mount, Mount Saint Michel. What do you have to say? This is really awesome. Glad we came. Very cool place, I think. It looks really cool on you. Know? What about you? What about you? What about me? Oh. Listen, we'll be here for three days, and then uh, send food. No breakfast. No breakfast. No send, breakfast. Send food, uh, money, and don't worry about it. Greg's here, and uh, uh, I can't wait to see it on the screen. How nice. Hope, hopefully we're centered correctly. I'll move it around so we are centered. Right? Oh, boy, we're going to be dizzy. Yeah. I would say it's probably pretty close. I think so. Good enough? Yep, for me. We're in a small chapel in <clears throat> Mont Saint Michel. Very, very nice. Looks like the pre... I wouldn't know, but I'd have to say pre-Gothic period, yeah? Hmm. That's your, that funicular. That's that funicular thing. <laughs> wow, look at that. And they built it, look at it up there. Built and the rock up here, built, built. And it's still here. Yep. Big gun turrets. Wow. Must be somewhat a low tide. These are the grounds outside. I'm coming to you. Holy shit, there's more stairs. So this is the terrace at the top of Mont, Mont Saint Michel. Look at that. It's quite stunning. It took about 200 steps to get here, and we'll film the sunset when that takes place. Walking into the cathedral now, where there's a light show. A 
which isn't much, but a few lights and they pointed upwards and What's some your right some noise. Bash my head. Wow. Big steps. There's your room. Now that, if you can see Marsha, that is a, that is a fireplace. And there's another one over there. Yeah, awfully dark, probably can't see it. and uh, there's some sort of a light show on the cathedral which is here it's still early it's about uh, it's about uh, 9 30 at night Look at the purple tree and we're gonna see if we can gain access in here to, uh, to kind of film next steps How was your dinner? My dinner could not have been better. For tonight, tomorrow night, it will be even better. <laughs> Had a great time. How was your dessert? <laughs> My dessert is, wait a minute, wait a minute. There they are. What do they call it? Mentos. Mentos. This is what I have for dessert. <laughs> Let's Greg go is a great, a great picture maker. Okay, hold it. Wow, that's actually quite a uh, a grand cathedral. Let's see if we can get inside. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Watch Graham's trying to put on his backpack. <laughs> there we go, we're gonna try the other arm. 
Oh, this is... <laughs> One arm's better than none. No? <laughs> you care to share some more of those sounds? What? Do you care to share some more of those sounds? The sounds that you let off at the bottom? Oh, not have any more of those. <laughs> 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 That's right, watch the steps. I don't want to YouTube you falling. Yeah. Wow. Heading down to Utah Beach. The tens of the thousands and thousands of people that were killed right here.
This was an ammunition dump that was blown up in 1941. No, 1944. That's probably 40 feet deep or so. And there's a piece of the roof that blew off. And as a result of the explosion, blew that bunker kind of a pieces as well. saying all of these depressions are bomb uh, divots, I don't know what you want to call them, but every so many feet you can just see pockmark after pockmark, oh I don't know, five, six, eight feet down deep or so, and they're continuous everywhere. This is an individual rifle bunker where two people would be in here. Staircases. Probably ammunition below. It's all concrete below all this. Look at this bomb crater that blew this bunker to pieces. Bomb crater, that's the word. And look at them all. As far as you can see, more bomb craters. Over here, a massive bomb crater. Over there, as far as you can see. This is um, lined with black marble about a foot underneath to reflect black water and the purpose of that is it represents the coagulated, the blood of the fallen soldiers and what blood once coagulated turns black and that's the purpose of the color of the um, reflecting pond. 
Now do not feel that you're violating the men by wandering amongst them. They actually try and promote it so that you can <laughs> about how perfectly aligned these are. Perfectly spaced and aligned. I think this might be Marsh. The, um, one of the, I think it was the, I'd say with Private Ryan, when they're walking, they take that vantage point where they have two or three uh, Jewish stars, right? Star David in a row. Look at how the star, they're, they're perfectly aligned. This direction, this direction, and this direction. Alignment is, is just truly unbelievable. Aligned, aligned, aligned. That's Teddy Roosevelt's brother. And his other brother. These are the two brothers that uh, inspired the movie Save it, Saving Private Ryan. Robert J. Neeland, Island, and his brother Preston. Second Lieutenant, 22nd Infantry Force Division, June 7th, June 6th, over here. Apparently they died one beach apart, one on Omaha and one on um, Utah. This is from the very back of the cemetery, and it's just solid. Solid crosses. Here's our hotel in Bayo. They have a uh, wonderful landscape. As you can hear, uh, structure one, structure two. This structure survived war. It was built in, uh, I think, 1902, I think. Uh, and they said, here, you can uh, play soccer, which we don't do. Um, you can sit in the uh, shade over there and over here. 
which is wonderful, which we could do. And at the end over here, they have fruit trees that you can pick. I think they said it was uh, um, kiwi and figs and something like that. They said, we'll give you a bag. You can go pick your fruit and bring it with you. Whatever that means. Uh, let's see. So this property is quite large. And, uh, hmm, let's see. We have a car dealership where you can pick uh, uh, auto filters. And you have, I don't see one fig tree if you paid me. Uh, maybe over there in someone's, I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, pretty cool, nice and quiet. An absolute beautiful estate. Uh, and our room is in the upper right hand corner. When they tried to uh, give us this room that was the size of a shoebox, and um, that didn't work. And uh, we got a great room. Folks got a great room, nice and quiet. And uh, look at that. Who wouldn't want that? on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's my house, or whatever the French um, tone might be, and my wonderful trees, and someone else prunes my lawn. And at the end of that is a uh, little table, and we're gonna have a glass of wine. So, uh, hope all's well. Check in later.
spent the day in the mountains of uh, Gruyere, and then went to a chocolate factory and couldn't get in because we weren't going to hit the last train. So we're back on the train heading down, and you should be able to see the lake here in just a second. zigzags across. It's way up there. Castle up there in the hill. to leave. We're heading back to uh, Lausanne and um, uh, uh, Lake Geneva and we'll be spending the last night in Lake Geneva um, and then we're on to Bern and uh, at, at one time the capital of uh, Switzerland I understand may still be I don't know but anyway from there we're going up to uh, um, uh, it's called uh, uh, Inter Interlaken and um, Jungfrau Mountains, very mountainous in the Alps that uh, Don and I had been 30 years ago and we had to kind of uh, go back again and see if it's the same, which was just uh, spectacular as an understatement. So uh, that's what we'll do uh, the day after tomorrow. We'll spend the whole day uh, touring up into the Alps and uh, uh, we'll keep you posted or your, uh, Greg will keep you posted on uh, what's what that is like. And so um, I'm hoping it'll be as uh, beautiful as when uh, Don and I were there a lot of those many years ago. So we're on our way back to Geneva now. Like I said, 7 o'clock, we're going to have a few beers and crash and get up early and get the burn early. Um, and um, that's about it for right now. Talk to you later. Your turn. You want to say hi? Just say hi. Hello. Right now I seem to be very tired. so. Let George tell all about it. Maybe tomorrow I will be a little more up and I will do lots of chatting. Chat, chat. So, see ya. I don't want to say buenos dias. No buenos dias for Marsha.
Trekkers. Already hang over. <laughs> Take a break, get some oxygen in your blood. Hold on and be careful. Oh my gosh.
starting to rain. Or snow turning to rain. That's a glacier. Can't see the mountain any longer. So I'll sign off. It's real slippery here. Yeah, we're in the clouds now. Holy shamoles. That's got to be 4,000 feet down. Easy. Wow. I mean, that's... And there's where we were. There's the area right there you kind of play in the snow. Glad we got the pictures we did when we did. There's the town way down there. They say. <laughs> What's wrong, Marsha? <laughs> What do you say, Mom? Hey. Hello, it's on red. That Is means that it's filming. It is filming? Really? Yeah. We've been up to Young Frau, completely different than what it was 20 years ago. We enjoyed. It's not on, is it? Yeah, it's on. She said 30 years, not 20. And, um,. Completely changed. Did not get dizzy this time because a lot of it was inside. We enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed the scenery immensely. And if you want to see what what Brendan Hall looks like now that uh, it's probably grown quite a bit since we were there. We had a great. We get so tired of the crowds and the people and the buses and the pushing, we jumped off the train, tram thing, and we decided to walk the rest of the way down. Probably like a thousand feet in elevation or a little more. Wave. We haven't walked for, gosh, five days, six, how, 10 days? It's just killing us. So anyway, look at that. That's the backside of, um, the, of the Eiger. And somebody was trying to climb today and blew it. Something happened, so they had to send up a helicopter and get them. So we're going to walk. We'll see you.
ich viel gerade. We're in the castle square. The castle's way back there. In Prague. All these people, I think we're they're, we're they're watching something. Yeah. What are they waiting for? I don't know. What are all these? Back up, mom. Back up, dad. They run over, man.
Música de San Lande está en la estatua del santo, obra de Henry Spano, en la primera Los frescos de detrás representan a Carlos IV y a su tercera esposa. En el centro de la capilla está la tumba del santo.
Okay, we are in Munich in the Marienplatz and that is the, I don't know, <laughs> find out some other time, but uh, kind of crazy. Trying to find our way around. Hey, Marcia, what do you say? I need more wine, damn it. Huh? I need more wine, damn it. Like one glass. It's Not cross. It's cross. For you. For you. Stop. For me. For everybody here. Stop. Stop that. Stop that. Don't do that. It's been a really, really yep. warm day today. A long, long travel day, but we're here and it's gorgeous. Right now there's a nice breeze. It feels great. We're 20 degrees colder. Yes. Excuse me. 
Santiago? Yes. I see your hat. If you want very, to, very nice. <laughs> and a happy I love, I love the uh, Camino. But it's, uh, I was walking in the year 2000, so it's very long oh, time ago. I wow. was about 21 a year old. Oh, wow. And I was alone, but I could speak English, uh, Spanish, good. So I didn't, I, I was not very scared. I just thought uh, it doesn't yeah. matter. I, Good for you. So there came people from all the world and I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. Great, it's fun, huh? Yeah, from which uh, country do you come from? Oh, we're from the United States, from oh, cool. California. So you came by San Francisco to go to the Camino, right? Yes, we came to St. John and then we walked all the way to Santiago. The whole, um, the whole way. The whole way. Cool. You as well? I had only three and a half weeks and I go, but uh, almost the whole way. And then I got the rest Sorry. with the bus and all the people told me, oh, no matter because the, the the last hundred kilometers are very bad, <laughs> so you didn't. Oh. Uh, right. No, the last hundred kilometers were okay, so nice. Okay, this another year, I guess. Uh. <laughs> but nice. I go the uh, Camino Frances, and I went another year uh, the, the north, uh, so oh, with wow. the sea seaside. Was that, that good? Was very <laughs> hard. Long distance, yeah, and very. Uh, Climber is very hard. Ah, lots of hills. I, I, it's the first time I walked in the autumn. The autumn is the best time, I think. Yeah. It's, uh, it's cooler. Not too hot and uh, not too much people. Yeah. Yeah, and in the year 2000, at least not too much. I think now it was very cool. Oh, yeah. Very, it was. Very lots of people. It was. What country are you from? I'm from Germany. Oh, from uh, Germany. My, my home is uh, Black Forest. You know, okay, yes, yes, yes. People yes, say yes, Freiburg. Yes. And now I live in Munich since three years, so I like oh. Bavaria now. <laughs> Thank you. 